B. Remember when I told you I had an idea and that you would soon find out what it was? Well, this is it. See, the other day when you sent me the package and I made the video of me opening it, um, that way you could see my face, it reminded me that I was going to start making like weekly video diaries as part of my New Year's resolution, but I forgot to write it down. And we both know if I don't write it down, it does not get done. So, I've decided that I am going to start doing it, only I'm going to send them to you. That way you can keep up on everything that's happening here, and you can see my lovely face. Oh, and it also helped with our friendship video that I haven't finished yet, because when I start working on that video and I get sad because it reminds me that you deserted me to go to a frigid faraway place that calls itself Utah, I can start working on these and I'll be reminded that even though you're across the country, you're still a big part of my life. And I don't want you to disappear from my life. So, with that being said, I've decided to start calling these the T to B Diaries. So what's new? Well, first off, I have this awesome Star Wars t-shirt, thanks to you, which by the way, I've gotten not one, not two, but three compliments on it, and it's only the first day I've worn it, so it's pretty great. And I paired it with this forever necklace that you got me because it seemed appropriate. So speaking of Star Wars, can I just once again say how proud I am of you for watching all of them, thanks to your brother. So this week, I also rewatched all of them, and I made a new ranking of my least favorite to my most favorite. Um, my least favorite being episode 1, followed pretty closely by episode 2, then 4, and then my top 3 would be 6, then 5, and then episode 3 is my favorite, which Justin tells me that no Star Wars fan would ever say that. But, what can I say? I like Darth Vader. I liked Anakin, so naturally I like to watch Anakin become Darth Vader and to see why Darth Vader is who he is. So, since we're on a Star Wars roll, um, I have a new addition to my bedroom, which I think I sent you a Snapchat of this, but I took the Star Wars calendar you got me and I took all the pictures out and put them all together and I hung it in my bedroom and the, this past Monday, Sophie spent the night with me. And she came into my room and she looked at it. She was like, T.T., I can't sleep in here. Those weird people are looking at me. And I was like, no, baby. I'm like, it's okay. I'm like, just close your eyes and go to bed. And she was like, are they real? And I was like, no. I'm like, no, they're just, they're just actors. They're just dressed up like that because of a movie. And so now she thinks they're hilarious. Like, she'll walk into my room and point at them and laugh and be like, hey, <laughs> those silly people. So... I'm glad that worked out. And we also have a new addition to the living room. Jennifer and Craig gave us their ottoman, which is nice because now we can see like three to four people instead of just two. Um, maybe one day we're going to get a couch. Hopefully. So earlier I mentioned New Year's resolutions and one of my resolutions is to get to my goal weight. And of course to do that you have to start eating healthier and working out. And As you know, I don't eat vegetables a whole lot. Um, but, since the beginning of the year, I've had broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, green beans, and carrots. And not only did I eat them, but I also cooked them. Yep, I'm growing up. So, um, because of that, I have prepared for you a little musical treat, which I hope you enjoy. So, here you go. Fancy cars? You can't sell me. I spent all of my money on celery. Guaranteed there's no stopping me when the plate that I see contains broccoli. Like I told you before, I'm hardcore. All the food that I score goes in the vegetable drawer. Some people bring soda to your house to share it, but the party don't stop till I show up with my carrots. Call Dr. Phil and warn Oprah. You gotta eat up all of the okra. I'm notorious. I'm the furious. I don't spare one fear of asparagus. You think you're tough? 
you think you're hot, I'm gonna eat the charred right out of your yard. My enemies cower when they feel the power that I gain when I devour a cauliflower. welcome for that and I'll include the link to the original video because I did not make that up and can I just say that I found a video of Michelle Obama our first lady rapping and at the end she goes holla and I included that too because who doesn't want to see Michelle Obama go holla so I think that's pretty much all that's new with me this week um, I love you and I hope you enjoyed this and to quote our first lady holla Shake, 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 sh